Hi there. Welcome to my third tutorial on indices. What I want to look at here is how we can multiply and divide indices. So if we have a look at our first example, we've got 6 to the power of 3 and we're multiplying it by 6 to the power of 4. Now if we expand this to write it in its normal form, 6 to the power of 3 would be written as 6 times 6 times 6. And then we're multiplying this by 6 to the 4 which is 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. Clearly, if we look at what we've got now, we've got 7 sixes there. So we get our answer when we convert that back into index form. It's going to become 6 to the power of 7. Let's have a look at the next one. We've got 4 times 4 times 4. Then we're multiplying that by 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. Clearly again when we count up our 4's we've still got 4 and we've got 7 of them. 4 to the power of 7. So it seems reasonable to see that when we're multiplying indices we actually add the index numbers together. From this we generate the rule which is the general rule we say x to the a times x to the b can be written as x to the a add b. Just adding the index indices together. Let's now have a look at what happens when we're dividing indices. Well let's write the first one, expand this to have it in its normal form. We're going to have seven sixes there. We're going to divide that by 6 times 6 times 6. Now if we have a look at what we can do here, I could divide each term individually. So I could say 6 into 6 goes once. So I cross the 6's out because it divides into it once. We could take another pair of 6's there and do the same. And once again, we could do it again with the last pair of 6's. Um, we've now got nothing on the bottom or 1 on the bottom, but we've got 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 on the top, which in index form is going to be 6 to the 4. Let's have a look at the second one here. 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 on the top, and on the bottom, 8 times 8 times 8. Again, we can divide these through, first pair, second pair and third pair. That's going to leave us with 8 times 8 which in index form is just written as 8 squared. Now what you should be able to see from that is the link between the 6 to the power of 4 and what we started with here. If you do 7 take away 3 it's going to leave us with 4. Does that work on the next one? 5 take away 3, does it leave us with 2? Yes it does. So our rule from this we can generate, our general rule would be x to the a divided by x to the b is going to be x to the a minus b. And those are our two index laws.